Take one for the team. <laughs> Tell you what. I hope everybody else out there is having a wonderful Halloween this evening. I'm making memories here. <laughs> We're about to get sauced up in here. Okay. So take one for the team. Here's a life lesson for everybody. You gotta dig your ditches. What's that mean? Well, again, we're gonna get back to this notion of paying dues. Right now, I'm just digging my ditches. I'm grinding it out, making the money. Taco Bell, Glenmont. Does that look right? I don't know if there's any other drivers out there, but my navigation is going absolutely bonkers this evening. Not happy Halloween, Navigator Gator. Thank you. First, it wanted to send me to the bus station. I'm looking at it saying, what the confangle bag nab it blasts I mean, is this thing trying to send me really I didn't put it in the bus station then it was sent me to the wrong place that quite possibly could have been user error simple mistake street versus avenue there's two Washington's holler so as if my night wasn't going bad enough already what did I do I got a four dollar You know what? My night's going terrible already. Might as well just take one for the team. So while I'm digging my ditches, I'm digging that hole in them ditch even further deep. That's why everybody should just donate me money so I can help change the world. I need resources here. People are going to say, what are you nuts, V-Square? V-Sauce, the real V-Sauce. Five star number one. I don't know, maybe. But listen. If the world wants me to have the ability to impact it and, and, and have some, some change, some positive impact in the world through what I'm doing here, well, I'm going to need resources. So as I learn and grow, y'all will learn and grow more. More production value costs more money. I don't need money. It's not real. It's not real. But for some reason, the notion of working in a cube in front of a computer tethered to whatever device for forty thousand dollars a year for the rest of your life from now until from now until death do us part—that to me sounds nuts. So here's an example of how to deliver more value to someone's life. I was talking with a fine young man this evening. This, this day during shift one which well, shall name unidentified but person XYZ you know I'm talking to him he's a real knucklehead real hardhead worse than I ever was at least I bought into the whole you need to have you know, your scholastics lined up and get good grades well, I'm asking around what does everybody want to do what do you want to do what do you want to do, what do, you want to do when you get home should be thinking about this. The whole teaser of fireman this, that. You're going to send people off to four years of high school go by just like that. Everybody finally gets there and they're so excited for it and then what? You want to get the hell out of there as fast as you can. And what's the shortest path from A to B? Whatever your device is to get you there, you can get the hell out. Then what? I graduated with a kid that already had a business. It was worth over a million dollars by the time he graduated high school. Okay? So I need people to join my team. You know what a production team is worth nowadays that puts out grand creations, grand production on these medias? Millions. 
you help build something like that, that's a machine. You use that to get your own jump off and your own creations after that, excuse me. This is the way the world operates. Rather than putting in four years of whatever garbly gook somebody wants you because they're going to tell you that you're going to have a better life on the other side. You know, just because these are my choices I have to choose from, you don't have to choose those choices. You can take another path altogether. There's many branches down that road. Listen, if you want to become a doctor, a lawyer, whatever, who cares? The fact that it remains the same. You're going to need some sort of basis to build that foundation. What are we doing here? Uh-oh. So yeah, you're going to need something. But, if you don't want to do one of those, one of those very few ultra-uber-niche-based things where you need some sort of a, a degree and then a certification on top of that, you know, there's really no point. There isn't. I'm going to pull the statistics up and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get something up later. I'm going to give you some numbers that are going to blow your mind talk about poor investment of time and debt. Time period. I mean, here's the way this works in life. You got X amount of time. You don't know when T is going to equal zero of time is left. And you're going to spend it doing things that you don't want to do. Oh, am I getting high beamed? What a you know what? is a piece of work. Anyways, yeah, that's not cool. Beams on. Bye. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> yeah. Really, though, that's uncalled for. Sure, I didn't signal. That was my bad, but if you're going to lay on your high beams behind somebody like that, move on. Anyways, so the kid says to me, he's oh, pretty big, I'm pretty fast, good at football. You know, I think I really wanna. I think I really wanna try and and do this. I want to have a shot. Sure, anybody's got a shot. Here's the thing, though, my man. I hope you're out there listening. If that's what you want to do, do your due diligence and talk to everybody that you possibly can, and that includes reaching out to people on social media. Because I can guarantee you that the people within your center of influence at this moment in time. They aren't going to give you the right advice. Do you know anybody that's personally gone to the NFL and or known and or coached somebody who's actually gone to the NFL? I don't. I know a few New York State champions in football. From the dirty, dirty Troy. But guess what? Doesn't mean nothing. They went on to play college ball and now they're working in. I don't know. Not doing anything significant with their lives. So if you want to go off to play football, you're going to need two things. I can guarantee you you're going to need good grades to put you into a good school. Then when you get into that good school, if you want to stay there, you're going to need more good grades. Step your game up, dog. Step your education game up if you think you want to live that dream out. Why don't you start there? Being big and fast ain't good enough. If you want to get that exposure to where people are going to actually consider you for the NFL, look at Ricky Williams. I mean, 
people say it's a waste of talent. I say good for you, Ricky. Ricky. That man was a bad man in the NFL. He failed a piss test. For the T, the H, and the C. Something that's about to be legalized federally real soon anyways. It's just a plant. It's medicine. You know, he played off that whole Rastafarian card. This is part of my religion. The NFL didn't care. We have an image to uphold. That's the way the game's played. You want to you wanna play their game, you got to play by their rules. And you have to be smart. And you have to represent the team that you're representing and the NFL with some sort of composure. I'll tell you what, right now, dog, the way you're conducting yourself, you got four years to turn that around. If that's a dream that you really want to chase, eat your Wheaties, make sure you do lots of push-ups and lots of sit-ups. Because I'll tell you what, that video you showed me, it's pretty fast, I'll give you that. I like it. I'm not that fast. Nope. Nice long stride there. Who knows? Still just a wee, a wee, a wee little sprout in the grand scheme of things. You're going to be a lot bigger. And hopefully a lot faster. Stop doing dumb stuff. Stop being a dumbass. And step your game up if you think that's what you want to do. The real Vsauce will teach you how to do it. V squared to death. Step your game up, dog.